Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Ark Survival Evolved as the sun is setting and our goal today is pretty simple. First we want to level up, which we are pretty close to. And then after that, it's going to be very simple. We're going to tame some dinosaurs today. That is exactly what we're going to do. It's something that is not too difficult. You just kind of got to get the hang of it the first time around and then it kind of comes together from there. So we're just going to keep getting some resources. I've been spam crafting some torches just to try and power level a little bit. It's worked out alright. Actually getting some metals pretty nice here. But the first thing we're going to need to do is to level up to the next level, mainly because I need, as you'll see when I do get the level up indicator, that I need to get the slingshot. And I already have a lot of wood to make the slingshot work. And you see I have some raw meat as well that's spoiled. I'm going to be holding on to that as well. I mistakenly threw it away. Reason being is that you need your uh, spoiled meats to make narcotics and the mortar and pestle, which is another thing that we will be crafting before long. Of course, don't forget you can do the hot bar crafting for this. And here is our level up just in the nick of time. So let's go ahead and finish all this. It's cold because the sun is setting now. We finish busting this rock. And there we go. We get we freed a dinosaur, apparently. So that's good. Let's go ahead and go to the inventory here. So what do we want to upgrade this time? We want melee damage. Well, I think I'm going to give myself some movement speed bonus as well. So once again, I could get a spear. Notes are apparently pretty good to do things, but we want the slingshot. Definitely for sure. And I'm going to wait on the bed, but I'm going to get the mortar and pestle. Because that is very important for crafting all kinds of things, such as narcotics. Which we won't be able to get next time. I'll probably get the simple bed next time just to make sure we have it. And the box. All things that are pretty good. But let's start by just going ahead and crafting our slingshot, which we may need. Oh, we need some more wood. Fortunately, we are right near some trees. And unfortunately, we are going to be kind of in the dark here in just a little bit. So I am going to be raising the gamma for this video in just a moment, and I hope that isn't too much of a problem for some of you. We'll, we'll be playing with some torches as well. So that's your V for crafting. Go ahead and craft the slingshot. Cannot make the mortar and pestle because I need a lot of stone, and apparently I'm holding... S oh. Apparently I'm only holding 16 stone. I used to have a lot more stone. I didn't think I dropped all of my stone somewhere. But hey, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and farm some stone real quick because to use the slingshot you do need actual stone, you do need actual things here. So stone, fortunately, because of these big rocks, are very easy to come by. But like I said, today we're going to be uh, getting a dinosaur on our side. In fact, my goal is to get a few dinosaurs on our side. It's going to be multiple dillos and I'm hoping to get one male and one female, mainly because you can get the... Uh, opposite gender bonus which is a straight up 50% buff to everything so it is good to have and I think 30 stone is going to be plenty so now it is oh we got stones flying up above our head as there's the moon in case you are wondering where we were as the moon is just trailing above the sky really quickly I'll pull out the torch for now just because that actually makes me squint too because everything else in the room in here is dark but we can also get berries as well which is nice because in order to let's let's actually talk before we get started here what we need to do to tame a dinosaur now we could tame some of these big turtle things but it's going to take quite a bit of time I'm going to be going for a dillo and what you need to tame a dillo is the following you need raw meat you need narc berries which we have plenty of you need a slingshot or something to knock them out I could try and punch them out but I prefer the slingshot method Later on down the line, you can use much more advanced uh, technology and things to make that happen. But the dill is a very good uh, target to do this first off because it does not take a lot of time. They're pretty common. They're pretty easy to find. You can also tame a dodo, but dodos just, they don't do a lot. They don't do a lot of damage. They don't, they can carry a little bit of stuff, but they're just not that great. So all I need to do here is just to find my friendly dinosaur here is we have all kinds of beautiful lights out here that we are not exploring because our goal here today is oh hit that to harvest resources of course because I want to get the plant that's not what it's going to give us here so we're going to go up along this coast again and I'm just sticking to the coast for now because as fun as dillos can be 
inland. There's some other things that are inland, especially if we get around some lakes and stuff, that get a little hungry. Now the other thing is that the last time I sort of progressed this way, so that is really tempting. That's kind of close, but we're not going to do it. Not going to get those lights until we get a little bit further in the game. At least once I get a bed and I can respawn, we will start meandering into the island a little bit. And I am playing a little bit cautious. I know I'm playing solo on my computer right now. Part of the reason for that, once again, is do we really have scorpions all over here? No, that's just a log. And a pterodactyl, which you can tame, but we are not. We are definitely not doing that today. That thing will kill me. Fortunately, dillos are not just diurnal, they're nocturnal-ish. We're just looking for a uh, little friend that we can throw some stones at. And I think we got one around here. Now I am playing single player, so technically I could just open the console and spawn whatever. Where's the fun in that? I mean, yeah, okay, so that's funny. It's so cold yet I'm holding a torch. What's the temperature right now? Temperature is 11. There we go. Food. So you have just a little bit of a uh, lag pickup. All right, so I didn't mean to eat co two cooked meats, but we are. So we are a little bit further away from home. That's okay. Let's see, we got some... Uh, Good dinosaurs right here. Triceratops, those are very good dinosaurs. But they take quite a bit of time to uh, take care of. But you can see they're just as heavy as can be. These guys are also... I forget their name. These guys are also pretty good to tame. The issue for them is that they're good mounts. Oh, good. Nice. Thank you for pooping right in front of us. I said it's just not ideal. And although we have some good dino spawns now, we're just looking for the right match here. So we're just going to walk around a little bit, slow down, be damned. There's a dodo. Sometimes you'll find these dillos targeting the dodos. Because why not? The important thing is that we're not just going up to scorpion land right now. Another good early tame is actually the hippo that you see over there. Problem is that I don't quite have enough of the berries that I'd really want there. Plus, I'm a little hesitant. I could probably cross that creek okay. But taming that guy would make for a much longer video. Of course, I think I see what I'm looking for a little north there, maybe in the shadows. Or that might just straight up be a raptor. Raptor is a little, uh, a little bit of not what we want. Yeah, we got some raptors chasing things over there, so we are starting to get in a little bit of the danger zone. I could go for that guy. Like I said, we have the power of video editing to help us in case it gets to that. And I do not want to, I do not have enough stuff to get a raptor. I was going all dillos or go home. So I may have to go home. All right, what do we got over here? Yeah, we got raptors up here. That's that's not what we want. And also, it looks like next to the beach we have a bright shining light. Now, if that's right next to us for us to take, we might as well just take it. But the important thing is that we've had a lot of dino respawns here. And I can get to the raptors eventually, that's just not what I want to do yet. And I think that may be... I might actually be on the beach right here. But I don't want to lose sight. Usually these things have bad things all around them. Usually. If that's in the water, I will be a little sad. So this is a video that started out as let's tame a dinosaur and now it's turning into let's look at the green light. And what do we have in the green light? Like I said this is this is new to me. I do not know what's in this game. I do know that there's mega piranhas right there and they will eat me. So unfortunately as exciting as that light is 
I think if I go down there, I will get killed. I can give it a shot anyway. I mean, it's early enough in the game. I didn't even make a sleeping bag to respawn. So let's see here. Do Did we get the Ingram for the sleeping bag? I do not think so. I think I'm confusing this save with one of my online saves. Yeah, we don't even have the sleeping bag yet. So if I just do a quick poke under the water. We got a little thing there. It's very exciting. I just have no idea what to do with it. And like I said, I've seen Megalodons, I've seen Mega Piranhas here. Yep, in fact, there's a Piranha come to say hello right there. See? Now you got the little one that came, but there, see, there's the big ones. Those will just take me out. <laughs> Alright, so as exciting as that is, and look, free natural light. We'll just have to do that at another time, so sorry guys. We're just hunting for a dinosaur as daybreak is coming, and that may help us just a little bit here. In fact, I am going to go ahead and let's get some more meat. Hello, Dodo. Hey, oh, you just pooped. Great, fresh meat. I did not want all that hide, but we got it, so torch. Interesting that those dodos are not terribly scared of me. This is like the worst recording ever of, look, this is really dark. Like, I just have to guess where the dodo is right now. There we go. Level 18 dodo. Now levels do matter in this game for what you tame. It can it means they have better stats. Unfortunately, it also means they can take a lot longer to tame. Let's get you two. I think you're gonna run the right way. No, don't run into the light, please. I defecated. Was that necessary? I guess with the green light right there it was. So we'll see if we can just run you into the tree a little bit. Alright, so level 4, he got attached to the tree and we killed him. So we definitely have enough raw meat now. That's good. Once again, it's very much Monster Hunter style. I guess maybe we will have to go a little bit inland to find exactly what we're looking for. We check our map right here as it gains resolution real quick. You can see there's me. And there's a little creek up ahead. Like I said, we did find where raptors are, and we will want raptors later. Raptors make very good mounts. They make very, very good tames. As now, of course, I'm hot. But we just want to start with the dillo. So maybe I should just cut to where we get to a dillo. That may save everybody's sanity just a little bit. Because like I said, we've only found one or two so far, and there should be a lot more for everything that's in here. So maybe it won't take me too long. Let's go ahead and just make a quick cut. And I will see you when we are about to start the taming process. Well, the good news is that it's daylight, and we're back to where uh, the Brachiosaur is. And more importantly, it looks like we have our prey at hand as daylight approaches. So there's a big rock just coming into nowhere here. So all I'm gonna do is just try and right click, see if I can get his attention, there we go. And you're gonna, as usual, try and spit. And we should be able to take him out here in just a second, okay. That's a little bit of a problem. Okay, now the problem is that we have, we're getting killed here, we're actually gonna die. Shit. I died to a level 5 dill source because I didn't switch to my weapon. Well, this is what spawning does. So we can spawn any kind of places we want to. Spawn East Zone 1, 2, 3. Fortunately, I died on land. Unfortunately, I could very easily spawn over on the other side. So let's just spawn at a random location. I think we are going to be okay. Yeah, we are not super far from where we died. 
like I said, there's the problem of not having a sleeping bag or anything. Is that while I'm pretty close to where I was before, we are going to have to book it to get our body. And I can't swim over the water because there are so many things there that will kill me. So that's really disappointing is that I, uh, see, that's where, that's where I died, right around there. So let's go ahead and get at least something to defend ourselves. Because I want to be able to get all my stuff back, but my body's going to decompose really quickly. At least relative to the uh, rest of the stuff here. So let's see. We need one stone, one wood. We got one stone. One more wood. Not thatch. Definitely not thatch. Oh, look. Another Dillo. Hello, you. Maybe I can knock him out with my Fist of Fury. Like I said, it's just... I. Yeah. Well, good. I died anyway. <laughs> Alright. That's why it's survival evolved, right? Alright, so where am I now? I'm pretty sure I am far... far away from where I want to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are so far away from where I need to be right now. I mean, I could just restart. Rebuild right here. But I've never spawned this far north. Or anything. So we are just going to be walking our way back down. So it's like, where's the Dillo source? There's the Dillo. They are not your friends. And it's like, hey, somebody's hitting me while I am just trying to punch trees to get my stuff together. So we're going to need how much wood for this? Tin thatch. We'll see if we can corpse run in time. But yeah, this is... I don't necessarily want to wait to do anything substantive until I have a place to respawn, but it's just really... I don't want to call it too annoying. That is a game where there's, like, consequences for being an idiot and dying. I thought, I was, I thought I'd be able to engage one of those guys without aggroing both of them. And I was sorely mistaken. And the thing is, is that I've taken on two of those plenty before. And we're actually at a pretty decent location here as well. But we're going to make do with everything as best we can. Because, I mean, this is not a terrible place to start either. Lots of little dinos around here. And I could have done the BS tame of my life. But I kind of want to attempt a corpse run just to see, for the sake of completion here. Problem is that, yeah, I, there's no way. There's no way I'm making it in time. So, what does that mean? That means that I was hoping to show dinosaur taming this video, and it looks like that is not going to happen. So we're going to have to go over the other thing, the thing that I get to deal with multiplayer servers all the time, which is what do you do when you die in this game? And the very simple thing is that you just suck it up and do it again. You just have to rebuild. You gotta be in the mentality to re rebuild every time, especially when you are early, early, early in the game like this. Thatch housing, not worth fighting back over. I did have a lot of resources, but it's all stuff that's able to be grabbed again. All stuff I'll be able to build. The important thing is because I'm not playing hardcore, which haha, I was thinking about going to a hardcore server. Yeah, that's, that's great. Thing is about that is first off, we do have another Dillasaurus down here. So I might be able to make this work. I don't know for sure. Because the important thing is that, first off, I gotta not die. Secondly, I gotta get some raw meat. So I don't know if this is just gonna be a BS taming video or what, but we're aggro now. And we dodged it, like we're supposed to. And so we're still gonna get hit. Wow, it's just... No avoiding. We're gonna die again? Again. 
from a level one. Well, let's try East Zone 3. Alright. So we are up here now. Because we're spawning in the east, we can tell by the blue thing on the map that's right around here. I'm going even further north. That's hilarious. Okay, I think the only thing to do really at this point, other than to say hello to our little friend here, is just to choose this rock to be the place that we rebuild. Because apparently the Dillosauruses are learning that I want to tame them, and they are just not going to have any of it. But hey, we did to get to see a little bit of interesting light. We are getting the travel a little bit further north on the island than maybe I really expected. But once again, when you die, all you've got to do is just live. Keep going. Do it again. You get very used to, if you play online, having to do the complete start over thing, especially because, well, it's kind of like Rust in that way. A lot of server space is just taken by houses that have been raided, houses that have been abandoned, people that have moved on. And there's a little bit of that online here, but at least right now, this peninsula, we have, a, we have some nice views. We have a volcano, we have one of the obelisks, I can make this. So yeah, next time, next time we are actually going to tame. For now, what I'm going to have to do, at least off camera, for just a little bit, is we're going to go back to rebuilding, go back to making this a better, stronger, faster rebuild. We don't even need to make ourselves a house. I just need to get all the materials necessary to do a tame, because I don't want to waste y'all's time and be like, oh lucky here's this video of someone who doesn't have enough meat or enough narc berries to tame. So I'll go ahead and tell you that it takes about 10 or so raw meat if you do it right. We actually don't have enough thatch, that's weird. Alright, we'll get some thatch. There's a lot of trees here. Yeah, it takes about 10 raw meat, less than 10 narc berries. Dillos are actually very easy to tame, but we'll do that next time. Also, hopefully in the near future, once I can respawn, we'll see a little bit about what those mysterious box things are. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like I said, I never ever ever claim to be best ever at any of the things that I play but in case you were thinking oh look he's having such an easy time early on no there's a there's a lot of ways to die in this game and getting hit by that spit from the Dillosaurus is definitely one of them it's usually I can dodge it today was not happening so I'm just gonna gather some resources and we will pick this up next time with a proper taming which is pretty cool so this is Asher, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a setback, but we are early enough in the game where that was that was a one by two structure. That was hardly my base. I had no supplies there. Everything that I ever wanted to hold was on my body. And now my body is no more. But we got a new place, a new little peninsula that can be ours if I'm getting chatted up by a pterodactyl again. It'll be good. It'll be even more better than it was the last time. So all I gotta do is get the narc berries, get the meat, and next time we are, truth fact, going to tame a dinosaur. Thanks for watching. Take care.